time of year with a nice strong hive, that can take the bees less than a week to build that frame and then fill it with that honey. When it's full, there's about three kilos of honey on there. So very, very quick. Now, to get the honey out from uh, my frame, I need to get rid of this wax capping that the bees have put on the outside. So to do that, I have an uncapping knife. This knife is hot, not sharp. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to make a mess here. You better put your mouths open in the front row because I might <laughs> flick it at you. So I'm going to slice down the top of the cell and you can see underneath there, all my honey is exposed underneath. Can everyone see that shining away there? Now, to get the honey out from there, it goes into this machine. This is called a honey extractor and it's basically a centrifuge. So I use a centrifugal force. So as I spin it around, if you watch the sides of the glass, can everyone see little bits of honey flicking out there and hitting the side? Yeah. So, on a commercial scale, same principle applies, but obviously there's not someone doing this all day. You push a button and the machine does this whole process for you. But same principle, still using centrifuge. Now, gravity takes over and that honey, you can already see it's starting to run down to the bottom down there. Most honey will undergo some level of filtration. Now that takes out bits of wax, bits of bee, bits of grit, whatever it is we don't want to get in our honey. And then you get left with pure, raw, I'm not going to pour it on you. <laughs> <laughs> that costs extra. So, pure raw natural honey. All of our honey out in the shop is pure honey. We do not change it. We do not add anything to it. It's not heated excessively, which kills the goodness in the honey. So it's all pure and natural honey. And honey is the only natural, <laughs> natural food. Yeah, I say ah. <laughs> You're gonna hate me by the end of this, aren't you? Honey's the only natural food. If you keep it properly, it lasts forever. So if you go out in the shop and you look at the jars of honey, you might notice best before dates. Ignore it. That's on there because we export a lot of our honey, and certain governments, especially the Singaporean government, make us put something on there. But ignore it. It means nothing. Okay? It'll outlive you the honey. It does, however, and I'm told a lot of Singaporeans put their honey in the fridge. <laughs> candy up when it gets cold. So this is due to temperature, low temperature. Okay, some honeys do it very quickly, some honeys take longer. I think it tastes good like that. If you don't like it like that, you can put in a bowl of hot water, it heats up, it goes back to normal, but also, don't put it in the fridge. I know it's hot in Singapore, it's hot in a beehive. It's about 35, 36 degrees. You can keep it at room temperature in the cupboard. Do not throw it out, don't waste your honey especially if it does that, bees work too hard. So one bee makes about one twelfth of a teaspoon in her whole life and they visit just under a million flowers to get that kilo of honey. Hard, hard work. Bees wax can be worth, well it is worth more than the honey. Candles, crayons, lipstick, furniture polish, massage balms and creams and it is incredibly nice to eat. Okay, it's just like chewing up. You chew on that wax, the honey comes out in your mouth. You can swallow it if you can, roughage for digestion, or you can spit it out. You want to eat some? <laughs> Open up. Yeah. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> Keep chewing. We're just going to stand here and watch you. <laughs> Do you like it? Good boy. Okay, you can swallow it, but also there's a bin up the back. You can spit it in if you want. Right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Pollen. More protein than meat. Two spoons of this is equivalent to a serve of vegetables in vitamin intake. There's over 20 amino acids. It gives you a lot of energy. And it's also a little bit like an antihistamine, so sinus, hay fever, upper respiratory problems. This is off the back of the bee's leg, so there she is carrying it there. We take about 60%, so straight from the flowers. Very, very good for you. Propolis, the black sticky stuff that was on the glass, it 
tastes horrible, but it's a natural antibiotic, it's an anti-inflammatory, sometimes known as Russian penicillin. It stimulates the immune system. Cold, flu, incredibly good for sore throats, gum disease, anyone who gets a lot of mouth ulcers, and the Japanese government recognised this as being anti-cancerous. You do not, you can, but generally you don't need it like this. You get it in a capsule or a tincture, a liquid form. Oh, okay. Don't take photos of me, whatever you do, right? <laughs> Break your camera, I promise. Royal jelly. The queen bee, this very attractive bee here is a queen. She's half a body length bigger than the other bees. Royal jelly's her food. So for us, when we consume it, uh, lots of amino acids, 19, lots of vitamins. Good quality royal jelly will give you energy. You take it in the morning. But stress, depression, memory loss, arthritis, cholesterol, libido, there's lots of collagen, it's good for the skin, on and on and on and on and on. Up to two, 250 bees to make one capsule. It is, I know I say a lot, but it is honestly very, very hard work for the beekeeper and the bees. And last but not least is Manuka honey. I'm, I probably think most of you have heard of Manuka honey by now. It is the best honey in the world. Unfortunately, it only comes from New Zealand. It's exclusive to New Zealand. The very important part on Manuka honey is the number that should be on it. Now, when that number is 10 or more, it's medicinal. 20 plus, hospital grade. So that honey, internal, external. Burns, ulcers, staph infection, bed sores, cuts. Internal, the kids can have a little bit every day. Cold, flu, sore throat, vomiting, diarrhea, stomach, all the gross stuff, stomach ulcers. Very strong tasting, but please, very important. I know it's, it, you can get it cheap, but normally it doesn't have a rating on it, and it's normally being blended or diluted with normal honey. It must be more than 10, okay? Thank you so much. Go and enjoy tasting some of the honey out in the shop, and if you do have any questions, I'll um, attempt to answer them outside for you. Thank you very much. Just out that way there, guys.